everybody, welcome back. Here we're going to unbox another helmet. Um, this one by an actual name brand. Everybody's heard of O'Neill if you're into riding and stuff like that. This is the Sierra 2 helmet. Um, it's a flat black you can see here. It's just like in my other review. It's got the flip up lid, dual sport style. Large helmet. Not much else on the box, so we'll just go ahead and dig in. The other one I did send back and get my refund, which I'm thankful for. I'm surprised by how they ship these with no packing. Uh, seems like a no-no to me, but I guess they're the experts. So it comes in this light-colored bag. It says O'Neill on it here on this side. Hopefully this helmet doesn't have the problems I had with the other one. Because I hate sending things back. It looks pretty mean. It's got a weird lip on it. Hope that's not too awkward. It's always hard to tell in pictures what things will really be like until you get them in your hand. Um, you know, one cool feature though that you can see is yes, it has a tinted shade inside that you can flip up up and down. But can you get it to go here. It's kind of hard with one hand. There it goes. Hopefully that'll get a little easier. I don't know how much I'll actually use that, but we'll give it a shot. I see it's got some nice vents here. Okay, so to open and close the front vent, you slide the whole thing up. I was wondering if that was going to work or not. Um, I don't know. I don't see much else for vent options. It's got some vents in it, but maybe they're not adjustable here, probably in the top, I can't really tell, but... I like better about this one versus the other one. This goes up really high so it's out of your face, so that's a really nice feature. The padding looks really great. I still don't know what these are for. These must be maybe for magnetic goggles or something. Maybe one of you guys know and can tell me. One thing I missed, the other one had, this one just has the D-rings, the other one I reviewed had the nice, um, kind of a quick release deal. I'll probably buy one of those metal ones that clips together. Well, this is interesting, it's got a little, kind of a cover piece here that keep the air off your chin. That's a nice feature. Not sure what this here does other than looks, but it's got lots of padding inside there that looks really great. I'm going to put it on and see how the screen looks and see if we're going to have the same problem the other one did, so stay tuned. Okay, I got it on. You can see it actually fits really nice. I kind of, I really like the feel of this one. I'm not sure. It's got that little flap I was telling you in the bottom here. Um, with this closed and when you breathe, there's nowhere for the air to go, so I hope it doesn't cause a fogging problem. If it does, I'm just going to simply cut it out, but I do notice with the screen down, there's no distortion in my view. And that I like. I like it's up high enough, you can see good. That's awesome. This will be easy to do with gloves. This is going to be a little more difficult because it's really kind of stiff. I'm trying to remember which way it's got to go here. But I look like a fighter jet pilot. That's cool. It goes up really easy, comes down a little harder, but I'll probably get used to it. Anyway, so far, I like it. It looks cool, it feels great, and there's no distortion with this down. That's a good thing. So, hope you guys like this. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope it helps you some. I think the helmet was 135 bucks. I think, shipped. Not bad. Pretty happy with it. It's got good clearance here, so you can look up really good. In case you need to. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys like that. Make sure you give me a thumbs up down there. Like, comment, subscribe.